Welcome back to another exciting adventure of Theater Thursdays. Today, we will be presenting DreamWorks Shrek the Musical. Ooh. <laughs> Did you know that Shrek was actually a children's book before it became the movie that we all know and love? Shrek was a 1990 children's picture book written by the then 83-year-old king of the cartoons, William Steig. One of the reasons Shrek was greenlit was because the producer's children really loved the book and had read it multiple times. If you haven't noticed how much this movie pokes fun at the fairy tale tropes, you're gonna see it now. Jeffrey Katzenberg, who founded DreamWorks after he left Disney, the very same company that profits off of the whimsical world of fairy tales, was looking for a project that could not only outshine his competition, but poke fun at them along the way. Him and his company definitely lucked out with Shrek. Katzenberg even said that Shrek not only saved the company financially speaking, but allowed them to make Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, and How to Train Your Dragon movies into iconic franchises. Shrek the Musical debuted in December of 2008 and had a successful Broadway run of 441 shows and 37 previews. After its closing, Shrek was made available to the rest of the world. Productions ran in England, Asia, Poland, Spain, France, Italy, the Netherlands, Brazil, the Philippines, Estonia, Israel, Sweden, Panama, Denmark. Any country that you can think of, Shrek has probably been there. Shrek the Musical was nominated for eight Tony Awards, 12 Drama Desk Awards, and a Grammy for Best Musical Show Album. The original production cost $24 million which meant that at the time, it was the most expensive musical to open on Broadway. Broadway and movie legend, Julie Andrews. The hills are alive with us. Name that musical. <laughs> Who played Queen Lillian in Shrek, provided the voice for the audio instructions before each performance. Reminding audience members to turn off their cell phones and unwrap their candies. Since the film version was made to poke fun at the Disney Empire, the Broadway adaption continued the tradition. They make mounds of references to other musicals, including The Lion King, Chicago, Gypsy, Once Upon a Mattress, Rent, Les Mis, Dream Girls, and Wicked. The magic mirror was actually played by the same actor who's playing Pinocchio in the show. Every night, twice a day on Saturdays and Sundays, he would remove his makeup mid-show, dash up five flights of stairs backstage into a tiny studio, and have 20 motion sensor markers placed on his face. He would make it nearly a minute before each time having to go on as the character. And how many shows were there? 441 plus 37 previews. That man got a workout. In the onstage production, the role of Lord Farquaad is required to be played on his knees the entire show. That's including dance numbers as well. Leg day is er day for that actor. <laughs> this cutaway brought to you by Morty the Cat who really lives by the code, if I fits, I sits. Brought <laughs> to you by Walmart Pizza. Walmart. <laughs>